Hello YouTube, uh, this is Mr. Nick0615 here, and time for the Daily Tech News. Uh, today we're going to talk about the um, PlayStation Vita, which is supposed to take the new PlayStation Portal. Uh, and then, I've looked at, I'm sorry, it was one of my previous videos, because I'm filming my videos with my iPad too. And I've looked at some of them, and they're not the best quality. But they're okay, and I think I don't think they're that very bad. But you guys might just leave a comment. Please leave comments on what you'd like me to talk about in this, or what news you'd like me to talk about. Please, because I really like tech stuff. Um, the PlayStation Vita has not really announced when they're gonna come out. Just twelve thirty one, and that's when all what all of them do. They just announce that. Uh, it's called supposedly PS Vita, and it has it looks it's supposed to have. 3G with AT&T, which is, mm, at and slow, and then it is it's supposed to have uh, an 5-inch multi-touch OLED display with a rear touch pad and dual analog sticks. Um, what it looks like, a con for this, it looks like the PlayStation 3000, but thinner and a touch screen, but it has the hard hardware software as the, uh, what's the, Go, the PlayStation Go. And that's kind of come because on the, I did have the PSP Go, and you had to download all the games. I didn't really like that. Oh, it looks like you can get a regular version too without 3G. Oh, so I just saw that. That's great. Um, and you have to download the games. But what it looks like, there has been some rumors that they're gonna put in a spot where you can sync games on your computer somehow and upload them to that. I don't know. But uh, here's uh, from PlayStation.com. Let me slide you guys around some pictures of the Vita. See, it looks like the PlayStation 3000, but they're touching the screen. And you're going to have to download all the games, so if you don't have, like, wireless at your house, then don't get this. Or if you're getting wireless, maybe. But, see, it's got... And there's a side. As you see, it does not look much thinner. Than the 3000, but it does look a little thinner. Now for the pro and cons. Um, like I said, you gotta download it. The games, everything. It just doesn't look that good. Uh, Alright, see what else. If you guys have anything to talk about, just please leave comments. It looks like it's starting at two hundred and fifty dollars, same price as the Go, and probably the Go will go down, and then two hundred two ninety nine for three G plus Wi Fi. And then, uh, if you guys have heard of the penny auction website BZ, and some people search, it is fake. Well, you know, it's not, I just, fake's a little exaggerated. No, wait a minute. Um, but, it's, it here's what it is. It's like, you give me a dollar, and I give you a penny. And you, er. Yeah. Uh, I was just trying to think of that, sorry. You give me a dollar, I give you a penny. And you take that penny and put it in a jar with all of these other pennies. Wait, no. Gosh, I got it backwards. You give me a penny, I give you a dollar. We drop that penny in a bunch of things. And let's say you're bidding for, let's say, an iPad like I'm videotaping with. If there's a bid. And all those pennies, they'll reach in. And if they grab your penny, you win the iPad. That's how it works. And I know some people that have... Some of my fr or friends or people have done it, and it did work for them. But in the long run, it ends up taking your money more than uh, you get what you get. So this is kind of a long video. Please leave comments on what you'd like to talk about more on the Daily Tech News. Uh, today, there might be a part two. I don't know if I find something to talk about. Please leave comments. Thank you.